Hello everyone and welcome back. First off, I want to thank you for clicking on that little square on your screen or on your monitor and sitting through this video. It really helps me out and I do appreciate it very much. In today's video, we are going to be doing a speed run of the Cayo Perico heist. I am also going to be going over a few things regarding the replay glitch, uh, some car duplication glitches, uh, and a few other glitch matters. So please stay tuned and I hope you all find this informative. I know there's a lot of people out there that are talking about what is the best entry method, infiltration method, things like that. Uh, honestly guys, I find best if you take the submarine in and you take the submarine out. Uh, you don't even have to get to the submarine honestly or any of the exfil locations. All you have to do is swim far enough out. Uh, and if you start off in the sub, you already have your scuba gear, so you won't be worried about drowning. Uh, it's easier to get away from the patrol boats and helicopters as well. Regardless of what vehicle you use to get to the location, you do want to make sure that your infiltration point is set to the drainage tunnel. Now I am going to go ahead and speed up a lot of this gameplay here. Um, I'm sure everybody's watching this video right now has played this mission numerous times. You know what's going on. Uh, but if you want to just follow along with me on the path that I take, it will show you how to be able to complete this in under 10 minutes. So I've had a lot of questions regarding the wall glitch and how to do it, the best method, uh, you know, everything along them lines. Now I do have some gameplay footage of it showing you that it does in fact work but if you are on a console this method is going to take you a while to get down. You have to jump in the right spot, you have to get over the wall in the right spot um, and then if you're doing the one straight ahead of us right now um, with that bird bath or whatever it is that thing breaks so easily so it can just be frustrating to get it. Honestly, if you have two people and you can get all the key cards, that would I would recommend that way because it just takes you know 20, 30 minutes to jump through this wall to complete it when you can do a speed run and get it done in 10 minutes by yourself. If you're actually fast enough, you can run through here before these guards even um, look this way. But unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough to get past there. So. Moving on, we're just going to go ahead and take out the guards that we need to and get to the office. In regards to the replay glitch, on console, I'm going to repeat, on console, that is only possible just like the Bogdan problem. It is only possible with two people. A lot of people that are on PC making videos showing all this works for everything. Guys, don't fall for it. It only works for the PC. Now before we go any farther in our speedrun video, I am going to throw in some gameplay of this wall glitch just to show you guys that it does in fact work. Um, now I'm not going to throw in you know, the whole time that it took me to hit this. Uh, I did play around with my settings a little bit. You have to like kind of turn slow. Uh, like I said, you just have to kind of finesse it to get it to work. Now if you notice how I got kind of stuck over here in this spot, now what you want to do, it, once you get through the wall, if you can get through it, and you can see the fire like this, you need to jump towards the fire. Uh, some people walk and that will make you fall down into the stairwell. You have to kind of jump and you know launch yourself over towards that area. Alrighty, so once we're at this point here, and if you've made it to this point so far, just give yourself a pat on the back for dealing with that. If it wasn't as hard for you, congratulations again. Now, you're just going to follow the exact path that I do. Walk up, turn right, drop off the side. Now, your screen's still going to be glitched out. All you have to do is turn around, press right on the D-pad, and you start collecting whatever is there for you. And that pretty much sums up this. Now, if anybody was following the video along to get the speed run down, uh, honestly, it's just the path from there in the beginning and then the exit path to make the fastest exit. Uh, so you can just skip through. Uh, so I'm sorry if that did disrupt any of you in that regards. Alright, so while the speed run is still playing in the background, let's talk about some other glitches. So there's a lot of, you know, co-op duplication glitches and things like that out. 
Um, so far, I'm only able to find one really good solo uh, duplication glitch that doesn't require the use of story mode, because I know a lot of you on PS5 are, uh, don't have the story mode as well, so you're looking for glitches that don't require you to go on to story mode. Now, if you're following along for the speed run after we get through this fingerprint scanner, uh, this is where you want to pay attention for the quick exit. I will also drop a link in the description of this video for the casino glitch uh, for the chips. Uh, it's not really anything new, honestly uh so i didn't think it was necessary to make a whole nother video uh covering it so if you guys do want to check that out it will be in the description real quick guys if you don't have friends that play this that can help you out with the co-op glitches uh please drop your gamer tags down in the comment section and add one another i mean you can even add me uh my gamer tag is in the description uh and you know i'll be happy to help you guys out when i'm online and make sure you guys stay tuned. I do have another video coming out here. Uh, if not tomorrow, it should be on Friday. Uh, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. Hit that like, subscribe, and turn them bell notifications on so you guys never miss a video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section uh, regarding the speedrun videos, informative videos. If you feel like they're just a waste of time, if they're actually helping you out. Uh, you know, I really like feedback in that matter. And I will also be going over uh, other videos and how to change the... Uh, loot that you get in the heist, things like that. I know some of you have asked for uh, clothing videos such as uh, glitched outfits, things like that, no arms. Um, you know, I know not everybody's into that. They kind of find them to be a waste of time. Um, I do have a few cool ones myself. Um, so if that is something else that you guys would like to see, you know, just drop it down in the comment section and I'll get to work on it. Alright, so we made it through the entire video. Thank you for staying this long. I really appreciate it. You will see here in just a minute that it will say that the mission is passed. I did it in under 10 minutes for just over a million bucks. Not too bad. However, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. I hope it did help somebody out in some way. Before we go, I do have one last message from my number one fan. Thank you for watching Klondike Gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe.